Hello class, welcome to part one of Deliverable number two, where we're going to be installing Ubuntu server. So before we do anything, the first thing we need to do is we are going to uh, download this uh, ISO file for Ubuntu server. So we're going to simply search for Ubuntu server, click on get Ubuntu server and download Ubuntu server 22.04. As you can see, I have already downloaded the ISO file, so I don't need it anymore. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to create a virtual machine that meets the prerequisites for Ubuntu server. So what we have to do is Google Ubuntu server system requirements. Okay, and click on here. And we need uh, one CPU, one gigabyte of RAM and 2.5 gigabyte of minimum storage. So not a lot. So we're going to go here create new i am using uh, virtualbox 7.0 latest edition but the steps will be very similar if you're using an earlier version of virtualbox so let's just start with the name of our vm mine is going to be called ubuntu underscore server then i will put the version over here which is 22.04 then for the iso image we are going to select uh, live server right ubuntu 22.04 live server click on open I'm gonna click uh, in skip on attended uh, installation so that it mirrors an earlier version of VirtualBox. Then I'm gonna click on next. And for the RAM, it's gonna be one gigabyte of RAM should be more than enough. One soup CPU is sufficient. Um, 25 gigabytes is more than enough, but we're not gonna be doing a lot with this server. So I'm just gonna bring that down to 10. Click on next, make sure that your configuration is similar to mine or if you need to increase it and decrease it that would be up to you for our project this is more than enough so i'm gonna click on finish i'm gonna click on settings over here and then in the description section i'm gonna put some notes here so for the host name the computer name that's right so the computer name i'm gonna call this web server and for the username i'm gonna call this webmaster as the username and for password here type whatever password you're going to use i'm going to use something very simple which is the name of the college um, in system we don't need to do nothing over here we don't need to do uh, on video memory you can keep it at 16. you don't need to enable 3d acceleration this is fine you can disable audio because we don't need it we're going to do something with the network tab later but you can leave it as is by now and then just click on ok then here we're just going to click on start the installation of ubuntu server is very straightforward so here, yes, capture, we're gonna click on try or install Ubuntu. Just wait until the installer loads. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do over here is we're gonna select the language, which is English, and we are going to update the installer. okay so over here we're just gonna click on done that's for the layout we will select ubuntu server click on done again i'm just pressing enter on the on the keyboard and that is correct we don't need to worry about the network card for now click on done you can leave that as empty you can leave that as default um, yes to all of this and all we have to do is click tab 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 and tab until you reach none you can also use the arrow keys by the way press enter click on done over here continue over here now we're gonna put in the information we saved earlier for our name I'm just gonna choose my username which is webmaster for the server name I'm just gonna select web server no spaces for a username again webmaster and for the password I'm just gonna choose something simple because this is nothing but a proof of concept right so we're not worrying about security for now so when I press enter over here yes we're going to install SSH but we are not going to import an SSH identity, so we're just going to go to done. We don't need none of this for my class, so we're just going to go straight and click on done. And now, just wait until the installation is done and you're good to go. Once the installation is done, you're going to re reboot the virtual machine. You're going to see an option over here for reboot. You're going to select that option and you're going to reboot the, the virtual machine. Once that reboot is done, we're going to do a quick, a quick update. I'm going to shut this computer down because I already did the installation on another virtual machine for, you know, to keep this video uh, short. OK, 
okay so we're gonna just I'm just gonna delete this machine because I don't need it this is the actual machine that will be that will be using I'm going to start this VM and now this is where all the command line stuff that we have been doing till now becomes useful because as you can see a server does not have a graphical interface of course you can install a GUI you can install a graphical interface if you want but it's a server it has very minimal requirements it's a very minimal hardware I do not recommend it and besides we won't do much stuff on the graphical interface even if we install one because everything will be done on the command line the server is gonna ask you for a login so we're gonna provide our username which is webmaster in my case in your case is whatever username you pick and then my password and I guarantee you that even if it's a simple password I typed it wrong because I have some problems typing passwords I don't even understand myself sometimes uh, there you go done okay so we see some basic information about our server and the first thing we're gonna do is an update so we're gonna do sudo apt update update and then we're gonna do a sudo apt upgrade as well type our password one more time and that update is gonna take a little bit you know in my case you won't because I already did the update again to keep the video short but in your case it's gonna take a little bit about 10 minutes once the update is done um, you can turn this virtual machine off by using the command shut down now and we're gonna take a snapshot so we're gonna go over here we're gonna call the snapshot take and we're gonna call this video one server installed okay here we're gonna do update updated last and today's date which is 11 30 uh, 22 click on ok and now you're ready to move on to video number two now what do you need to take from this video um, take a screenshot of the following take a screenshot of this v window showing your snapshot because you're gonna need it for your documentation and also take a screenshot of the settings of your virtual of your virtual machine it will be useful for you to take a screenshot of your login screen once you have logged in for example you know start your virtual machine type your username and password and then log in take a screenshot of that that's going to be useful for your documentation as well uh yep that's about it so we're gonna do here webmaster and this is the screen I'm talking about. So take a screenshot of this, a screenshot of your settings, you know, just so that you can write something about it for you can put your, on your final documentation. I'm gonna shut this down and then I'll see you in the next video.